Hey Hornet fans, the Emporia State baseball team season came to an end today with a 4-1 loss to the University of Central Oklahoma in the NCAA Central Regional Tournament. Yeah, tough game, you know, we just didn't swing the bats the way we're capable and really only mustered up two hits, but uh, it wasn't a lack of effort, they fought, you know, it just wasn't our day offensively, but I thought our pitching gave us a chance to stay in the game and it just wasn't meant to be today. The Broncos got all four of their runs in the bottom of the third inning on a grand slam. Um, it ended up just being one pitch that, that pretty much gave them four runs. Uh, other, than that, other than that pitch, the pitchers did really well uh, competing and, and making pitches when they had to. The Hornets got one run back in the top of the fourth when Matt Gowing reached third. Go fish, go fish. There we go, fish, out, boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Mason Brown was able to bring him home. Taylor Thompson got the start for the Hornets today, and the bullpen pitched five scoreless innings. Come on, boys, got work to do. Let's go. Catcher Mason Brown gunned down four runners in the last two games of the tournament. He's not only the best player on our field defensively, he's the best player at this tournament defensively. Uh, can really catch and throw, and just unbelievable behind the plate. The Hornets finished the season 34 and 24, and won 11 of their last 16 games. The Hornets advanced to the MIAA championship game and made it to their fifth straight NCAA Central Regional Tournament. Congrats on an awesome season, ESU Baseball. Yeah, the fact that we turned the season around to a 180, um, it just makes me so proud looking back onto it. Our team, fought, we fought our butts off all year, so really cool thing to happen. Yeah, the, um, the, 180 that we had, we were in 19 and 16 at one point, and um, we could have gave up, but I mean, we dug deep and started with UCO at the series at our place, and from there, I mean, we kind of caught stride a little bit, got a little, got a little momentum, started bleeding a little bit, and it, uh, especially the conference training last year, last week, uh, the conference training was pretty much what got us here, and it was fun, and it was a good ride. You know, again, it goes back to just proud of how hard we competed. Uh, for the last month and month and a half of the season. You know, like I said, a lot of teams would have backed off. We had so many high expectations early in the season and uh, just didn't start off right. You know, we went 0-4 to start the year off and we weren't very good baseball team. Lost some players, uh, had, a, had a big tragedy through in the middle of the year, the things that happened off the field. And uh, our kids came together, they, they battled through each and every day. and never gave up and that's that's what life's all about you know our kids are going to compete they're going to go out and work in the world and try to get a better job every day because they're going to outwork people and that's what we're proud of in Emporia State. On behalf of ESU Athletics thank you fans for tuning in we'll be back next year with all your live stats audio and video once again go Hornets. <laughs>